Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. We are going to be replacing a cooling fan in this HP Pavilion laptop. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to fire the fire the laptop up, and it's going to be a message right here. Right off the bat, the fan starts turning. It says, "No, uh, the system has detected that a cooling fan is not operating correctly. And this is what happens. The fan runs. And then, and then the computer, then the, then the laptop shuts down automatically because it's a safety feature. All right, so right here is the uh, new cooling fan. I got this on Amazon for around, I think it was around... 13 14 bucks or something like that but anyway it was, fa it was fairly cheap and i will link this cooling fan down in the description box below and i'm also going to be using some tools here um this like a little like a little metal okay um like a i'm not really sure what it's called like a metal tool okay got this one right here and i also got this one right here but um the one i like using the most is this one right here and i also got some uh, guitar picks all right, things like that. Okay, and I also got a uh, little small precision Phil, uh, Phillips screwdriver right here. Okay, before I do any work on this laptop, if I have a I have a mouse adapter right here. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is pull the mouse adapter off, set the mouse adapter aside, and the power cord is on here. Take this off as well. Set that over there because if you have a mouse adapter here in the power cord, you can't take the laptop apart with the uh, power adapter in the, in the mouse thing here. All right, so now I'm going to close the laptop, flip the laptop over like this. Now, right in now, right on this side, too, this is um, the CD ROM. So, what I, what I got to do is pull this here out. Now, mine's broken actually. All right, so yours won't, uh, uh, yours probably won't come out like that. It'll come out as, as, as all one unit. So what I do is I take a pair of pliers here. I'm going to bring the camera up a little bit so you guys can see it. All right, now, now if yours done, now if your piece here com comes off and this, and this, the DVD drive still stays in, I take a pair of uh, long needles pliers and right, okay, I hope you all can see that right here. There's like a little metal tab. I just pull, just pull it up like this. Whoop. Slip back in. All right. Hold it like that. And I just basically pull it out. There we go. I just set this aside. Okay. Now, screws out. Okay. Now, there is a screw right here. And just be very careful when when uh, when taking the, when uh, taking these screws out that that the screws don't get lost because the screws are very small and it's easy to lose them. All right, so that should be it. That's done, done. Done, 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 done. Okay. All right. So, so now all the screws, all right, are out of the are out of the uh, back of the laptop. All right. Now what I do is I take my little tool here. All right. Now I'm going to set you all up a little bit better here, just so y'all can see, because I got to bring the laptop up. So what I do, I'm going to show you all. Again, I'm going to do the best I can here. So what I do is I take the open the laptop up like this, right? And now right in here, let's see here. Right, this. Right. And there it goes. Okay. So what I do, take the I take the tool here, right? And you just sort of very carefully, okay, very carefully, just like that. Oh, just like that. Put it in. We'll do it carefully though. Like this, it's it's a pain. It is a pain in the butt to do it, but but uh, see, like that. Right, move it back so so, so, that, so that way it's not. Right. Okay, like this, same thing. And just keep popping all the way down. 
Now, probably most of you like, why don't you use a guitar pick? I actually don't like using guitar picks if I, if I don't need to. Um, because I just don't like them. There's no particular reason why I just don't like them. All right. So this, okay, this pops in like that. All right. This, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it, flip it upside down here. Same thing. Do like this. Okay. Like that. Okay, take the tool, carefully separate it, and separate it, and this, so this, this is what the inside, this is what the uh, inside bottom half of the laptop of the cover looks like, okay, so set that aside, all right, now what we do, we go ahead and close the laptop up, and this is what it looks like, okay. So you, you got your got your battery, got your cooling fan, you got your um, I got a solid state drive in my in mine. So this is a solid state drive. Normally it would be a hard drive. Okay, you got the uh, RAM right here, RAM boards. Okay, things like that. So this this right here is what we need to replace. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the laptop around so the cooling fan is on is on this side. All right now there's a let now there is the electric connection right here and there is one two three screws holding this holding this uh, fan on all right so what i'm going to do first is take take the first screw set the screw aside same thing like that and like that. Now what I do is I lift the fan up, just like this. I take on the, I take uh, my my precision screwdriver carefully, or actually do this, and just slowly bring this back and pop out. So this this is this is what it looks like. This is the back side. Okay. Here is the electric connection right here, just like that. Okay. Now right here. I mean, hope you all can see that right. Okay, right on top of the such connection, you'll see like uh, like silver, like little silver, like silver little holes. Like there's holes with silver in them, and there's slits on top of it. Okay, now the slits and the silver always face upwards, not the other way around. Always face upwards. So I'm gonna get a better shot right there. So the way I, so the way it is, so the way this such connection is right now. Is exactly the way it's gonna go facing upwards. Okay, so now that the old one's out, now it's time to put now it's time to put the new one in. All right, so here's the new one. Here's what the new one looks like with the same let with the same exact electrical connection right there this one right here has gold so if you so if your hp pavilion laptop fan goes bad and you buy another one okay and you get it and the and the um electrical connection right here because see this one now has gold so the the little the little square holes right here have gold in them and the tat and those little there's like little slits that go upwards if this is different Compared to the old one, all you really have to do is make sure that that your either gold or si or, or silver, okay, sit there and those slits are facing upwards. You shouldn't have a problem. So let's so let's go ahead and install it. All right. So the tab right here that has the has all the information on it always faces up, and the, this part right here always faces down. And here's the electric connection right here. Okay, so I see gold. I see slits facing upwards. You just basically just take your time doing it because you don't want to you don't want to force the tab into the electric connection to the thing here. So if you do, you may end up breaking the may end up breaking it. So just work it and like that. Boop, popped right in. Make sure it's good. Yeah, it's good. Now we take the Three screws. 
the three screws right in here like so. Whoop. Just like that. Now, don't over tighten them. If you do, you'll, you'll strip the uh, board out. And you don't want to do that. that and and if anybody goes through this and you put your screws just like just just how I'm doing here you'll know when the screws you'll know when it stops turning look oh, right there it stopped and voila so the new fans in let the the electrical the electrical connections in every everything's all good yeah everything's so now we can go ahead and go ahead and put um and flip this back over but put this okay Put the bottom of the base onto itself. All right, so let's lift it up. Put this right here. Okay. Put this face in me. All right. And I go ahead and go ahead and uh, oh, there it goes. Okay. Went back in. Let's bring the bring it up. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn it on. Now the cooling fan is actually. Turning better. It says HP. And there's no message up here saying that the cooling fan is bad. So everything is all good. And just takes a couple seconds. Voila. All right. So let's unplug the power. Set that aside. Put the laptop down. Okay. Hold that like that. And now right here. Right here are our are, are, are cutout fins. Okay? They're always cutout fins. And now this right here has fins right here. Right? So what you want to do. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to basically just set it right on top of it. Lift it up. And it starts popping back together. Just like that. Okay? It's like this. So you can keep going around the whole entire thing. Okay. Now, if you don't hear pop, it's okay. All right. And then just open it up. Check it that way. Like this. Oh, pop. All right. Let's check the back. Sure, the back is good. And the back is all good. Okay. Now we can go ahead and set the screws in. All right, so now that we got the computer back together again, now we can go ahead and ins install the screws. Now, this screw right here, I got palm my hand. This screw is just a little bit bigger compared to that screw. Hope you all can see that. So this screw right here is smaller. This one's larger, okay? So the smaller screw goes right here. The larger screw goes, goes back here. So I'm going to do the larger screw first. Okay. And then like this. Okay. Like that. I'm going to do the same thing to this side here. So I get the two large screws done first. Screw it in. Done. And now, we go ahead and get the uh, other screws back in. And remember, and now remember, if anybody does this, please be careful because these screws are very, very easy to lose. Okay. All right, so now we have to uh, put the... The CD, uh, CD-ROM in, or CD drive, whatever you want to call it, DVD, CD, or whatever. Okay, so mine actually goes this way. So there's a tab here. All right. So there is a tab right here, tab here, tab here, and tab here. So this one's flat, facing down. These ones all stuck out, and you want to be able to put it right. Uh, let's see here. You want it right. Like that. Okay, but unfortunately mine's broken. This still works, just it's broken right here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and lift it up. And, oop, so you can see it. Lift it up. And all I should be able to do, if it's, in, if it's done properly, 
Whoop. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get it in if you all. Okay. So just slides right down in, slides right down in there. And now it, that, that's good. Now we can go ahead and put the power back on. And voila. All right, everybody. So I'm going to, I'm going to put the model number as well as the, um, the information on, on the uh, new cooling fan down, down in the description box below. So if anybody uh, is experiencing the same thing I am, or if you know anybody experiencing the same thing I am, at least you know what to do now. All right, folks, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope the video was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.